Huge crash on the front straightaway. He's oh, no. oh! Oh, a huge off. Big crash! Up and over! Well, the first start of the redemption race was carnage. Let's see if these guys get away better. McConnell, they're staring at the lights. Hammer down now, release the handbrake and release all that horsepower down towards turn one on the inside line. It's a great start for RJ Anderson, backs the car in, runs Matthias Ekstrom out right. Ekstrom takes that long line in the background. Watch out here for Johan Christophson, the RXR machine. He's passed three cars already, going to try and take the McConnell line around the outside. RXR outside, inside line for Veloce. Rear end of Fraser McConnell kicks up super high. It is RXR who lead from the outside of the grid. That is a Christopherson special, copy in the move of Fraser McConnell earlier on today. Goes from outside to inside and gets the whole shot. That's outstanding. Wow, what a phenomenal start. Huge congratulations to RXR. The strategy there that Johan Christopherson played was absolute perfection. Now he just has to uh, will defend his position from Veloce Racing. They're not going to make it easy for him. No, they're not. Kevin Hansen's all over the back of Mulready on board now. Looking forward. Visibility's not too bad. Here you are with Kevin. Look, gritting his teeth. Full concentration, full lock through the right-hander. Anybody got an Inoa hyperdrive left for this straight to see if they can make a pass? The pack is so close together. I reckon they've all used it off the start, looking at this. Oh, Christophson gets a little bit sideways, drops the car down now onto the smooth sand. They are really flirting with that water. We saw all the cars getting sucked in there this morning, including that one, the Acciona Science, that Ekstrom's at the wheel of. That took a trip into the Red Sea with Lyre Sands this morning. Christopherson through the right hand to Kevin Hansen in behind. They bump up through this section. It could not be closer. Unbelievable. I mean, who would have thought that Anderson, who actually we thought had the advantage being on the left hand side at the start of the race, is actually disadvantaged and is right at the back and is going to have to somehow claw his way up to the front of that grid. He got to turn one first as well, Nicky. That's the thing. He was in the lead in turn one and Christopherson was right at the back, but he took that line that we saw work this morning. Just goes to show you as well, when people say, oh, you can't win from P5 on the grid, yes, you can. And we saw McConnell came from P3 earlier on yesterday. We got a whole day of racing again to go tomorrow. So, you know, we tell the drivers less moaning about grid position. Get on with it. You read my mind. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Christopherson has just shown it can be done. So stop complaining. But brilliant start for Rosberg X Racing here today. The first... Oh. First race in Neom. And Hansen sideways on the landing there, wasn't he? It was, look at Ekstrom, he's so close. By switch and then the, the second drivers as well. How close is this for round one? Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So close. Uh, but of course, they're going to have at the back of their mind, you've got to be careful because we saw it all unfold uh, in the earlier race, in the, the redemption race. Uh, car spinning, particularly on those grass verges. So all it takes is taking the wrong line and we can see mistakes happen so easily here. So no doubt they were not going to be putting all of their cards on oh, the table at the moment. Ah, Hummer EV which. off to the side of the track, so I don't know if that was a mistake or a broken car, but Anderson, RJ Anderson, is parked at the side of the road. They were in P5 anyway. He looks OK, his belts are off. He's going to climb out, get himself somewhere safe, push the car into neutral. Meanwhile, out front, where has Ekstrom gone? The science machines drop back. So the site, 2.7 seconds. I don't know what's happened to Matthias. Kevin Hansen is still right there. Look at them dipping the left wheels in the water, trying to find the smooth sand and the extra traction. They're going to come in really close. We've got a yellow flag situation somewhere out on track. So we'll have a slow zone. It's saying at waypoint 17. That's just popped up on our time screen. There is Ekstrom. He's, he's only three seconds back, but he was right on the back of these two. So maybe a mistake could be him somewhere while we were looking at RJ Anderson parked up. Christofsson's keeping the door shut, isn't he? He knows what he's doing, but Kevin Hansen's raced him so many times in the World Rallycross Championship. Just a little gap now for Johan from Kevin, and Matthias is still right in the mix, so just a tiny little mistake has cost him a couple of seconds. Oh, that's such a shame. Also, as they're so bunched up, you can see the sand really still causing a few visibility issues, but of course you've got the lights on the back of the car to help them see the car ahead. Uh, so hopefully nothing too dramatic, but it, it's always going to make it more of a challenge. It is indeed. You want to be in that P1 position. Interesting, isn't it, that Christopherson can't really break away. You'd think if it was enough of an advantage, he'd be able to break away so late on the brakes. Now he puts on the switch zone speed limiter. And that's there's Anderson. Uh, he's parked right next to the jump. This jump's not going to be comfortable like that because you want to go over it flat out and land the car flat. Drive it. You could see, in fact, Kevin Hansen moved across to the side to try and find somewhere you know, lower to, to drop it off the crest. So, OK. Good job it's not a great big gap jump you wouldn't be able to make it with the pit lane speed limiter on so yeah i came to the switch zone then so coming in what are the gaps as they come in it's 3.1 seconds between rosberg x racing and veloce 
and then uh, coming back to Ekstrom. Ekstrom looks like he's a fair way back. Here's the start again. Look, look at RJ Anderson on the inside. Got this done in his head. Watch Johan though. Look how early Johan's turning it on the outside. Fraser McConnell goes for the same line, but Fraz is too deep in the pack. So on the inside line, look, and then the Kevin Hansen look, he's thinking, hello, thank you very much up the inside of Extra. Meanwhile, Christophers has come all the way round the outside, and then Fraz gets a bad bounce and has to pull it back into uh, to avoid hitting the waypoint. So it all happened there, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. I'm just glad to see all five cars got away cleanly. On board the Harmer, this is, so that's, uh, yeah, you, you can see the visibility. Ah, so he, he does, he rolls. So Anderson is unsighted by the dirt. He pulled out of the roost to try and see where he was going. Right, and this is uh, Fraser McConnell. So on board with Fraz. Steering that's extremely heavy. I think his power steering's gone. Do you see, he can barely turn the wheel. So it looks like the X44 machine has retired as well he has. So, so Fraser McConnell's gone too.